Hey boys and girls, welcome to another super exciting, outrageous toy review. Today, Nick and I are on the road. Where are we going, Nick? We're going to a uh, Trader PX G.I. Joe meetup in Maryland. So this is a, a meetup organized by some people on a Facebook group of G.I. Joe collectors. And we're traveling on 95 right now down there to meet up with some other people that are G.I. Joe collectors. And we'll see what we can get from them. We're, gonna, yeah. we're going to a store to look at toys. We're bringing stuff with us to trade with people. And uh, just, you know, go out, have a meal together, and talk to okay. G.I. Joe. Yeah. We got to the meetup a little bit before noon, but we weren't allowed to check into our hotel room. Some of the people got there the night before and already had rooms set up, so it was time to check out room to room trading. One of the first rooms we went to belonged to Ken from Canada, and after visiting his room, I could have gone home a happy man, because I got Sergeant Slaughter and the Triple T. Now I know you're thinking, really? You're happy driving three hours to get Sergeant Slaughter and the Triple T? This isn't just any Sergeant Slaughter and the Triple T. This is the Canadian Sergeant Slaughter and the Triple T. Oh yeah. Do 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 do. Yo, Joe, make it. Check out the blueprints are in English on one side and in French on the other side. It even came with the Canadian box. I do find it interesting they didn't airbrush the art on the front or the back of the Canadian box. They just changed the language on it, but it still has the flag on both sides. There's his Canadian file card. I picked up two other items from Ken, a Canadian monkey wrench card and a Canadian lifeline card. At some point we met up with Jason Henry and Dave who are friends that we see at shows a lot in our area. Uh, they took a look through some of my parts bins and picked up a few figures and weapons that I was selling and then we went over to Dave's car he had a lot of carded modern Joes and I picked up this 25th anniversary spirit because Greg Berger the voice of spirit is coming to RetroCon in October and I needed a 25th figure to get signed so we made it to the meetup we did some trading from room to room some of the hotel rooms were set up with all kinds of crazy stuff I got a Canadian exclusive triple T tank That's and Sergeant Slaughter cool. Uh, we got Dave in the back of the car with us, and we're going to the toy store that we're going to check out. So uh, I'll make sure to show you that store. Here we are at Toy Express. Hopefully I don't get hit walking across the street here. It's toy Exchange. I can't read. Sorry. Thank you, Nick. With Jokon coming up and the theme this year being Slaughter's Marauders, I've kind of had Slaughter Marauders on the brain. I never had any of the Slaughter Marauder vehicles, although I thought they were cool as a kid. I loved the figures as kids. So when we went to Toy Exchange, I saw two vehicles on the counter and I had to snap them up. Here we've got the Armadillo, which was souped up. This is a repaint of the original Armadillo body here with a new turret on it with these giant missiles. Uh, lots of cover there for the guy. Great. I also got the Lynx, which is a Wolverine body with a Mauler cannon on a new turret. Only has a spot for one guy right here, just like Cover Girl wrote on it. Seems like somebody should have been able to ride in this giant turret, but they didn't. They didn't equip it with some space for a troop. I know it was a G.I. Joe meetup, but I did pick up a Power Rangers Samurai bad guy at Toy Exchange. 
And the last thing I picked up there was the Locust with the box. I've been wanting a Locust for a long time, but I haven't really seen one that was complete. And also, they have the problems with the droopy guns, which drive me crazy. So, I hadn't picked one up before, but I found this one where the guns seem to stay up pretty nicely. The canopy looked like it was in good shape. It's got the clip inside. The rotor blades spin well, and it's even got the bombs in the little compartment underneath here. So I thought this was a pretty perfect one, and as an ad bonus, came with the box. I am not really a box collector. I love the boxes, love the artwork on them, uh, but because they're hard to display, I'm not actively trying to get all the boxes or anything like that, but I, I don't say no to a box. They are pretty incredible. After toy exchange, we went out to eat at a local restaurant by the toy store. And then we came back to the hotel, set up our little booth. There's that fire bat that I got from. Ah, that's what I was going to ask you if that's what it was. That's the one. Now we're going over to check out some of the other people's rooms. We ended up going outside for a little bit. There were some guys set up at picnic tables outside, and I picked up some more stuff. I got this late 90s Lady J. I don't think I have her, uh, but I do like her outfit. It's a great, um, great Night Force version, really, if you want to use her for that. Uh, so I picked her up. I got three Headhunter Stormtroopers. These guys are the scourge of the DEF. I kind of like the regular Headhunters a little bit better. I think it's cool they have the shotguns that fit into their backpacks. But these guys are pretty cool, and they're definitely tougher looking, and uh, you can't say no to army builders. Grabbed a late 90s Snow Serpent repaint. He's kind of cool. I don't know if I had the white and gray version before, and if not, now I've got two. Picked up my second Vapor. This is the pilot to the Cobra Hurricane. He's a 90s, early 90s, I guess, real American hero figure. And uh, he's pretty sweet with that weird robot head. I picked up this Ace figure. This is a repaint of Ace from the 90s after the original run had ended. I don't have a helmet for him, so he's going to have to wear this spare vintage Ace helmet I've got. But he's a cool pilot for the Night Boomer, I think. I picked up some file cards, including Snowstorm, Star Brigade Roadblock, Lifeline, Ushudo, Storm Shadow, Rock Trooper Guile, Paratrooper Guile, Navy Seal Guile, and Night Fighter Guile. My final pickup of the show was the Fun School version of Spearhead. Here he is. He looks very similar to the Night Force version. I have the Night Force version right here. You can see that this one has a much darker chest, doesn't have paint apps on his belt, and his boots are actually green, not blue. He came with his helmet. This is the wrong color, I guess, for the American version. The American one is actually black, and this is a dark gray. But I did have his Bobcat already. I bought this at a toy show once before because I love Max. Wow, wow. And now we dine on Chinese buffet. <laughs> Did everybody buy in that wanted to buy in? 25th Viper is the first ticket, guys. Keep your last three minutes. 005. Oh 005. That's him. 9061. Ooh. I got it. Yay, Nick! He really wants the Rattler. Can we trade it in? You got the demon. Oh, I got the demon? Yeah, that was nice. The next one is the mount on card side. It's not armored guys. It's just two brigades. 9060. Right here. Oh, yeah, let's give Nick everything. You're in the rule. 
Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> what was that one for? That was for the <laughs> sci-fi. Okay. Nah, nice. Fun. Here, you want my rest of my tickets? So you don't have to do it anymore? <laughs> <laughs> well, we did offer our wines for 20. Okay, so this one, which I didn't list, is for the uh, Rattler. Rattler. I did have it listed, but this is for the Rattler. I just went out of order. Oh. All right, baby. What well, my number is? 2003 Matt Rattler. The copper ish. Yes, kind of goldish, copper, what else? Yeah. Copper. Rust color. Vomit color. Oh, rust. Yeah. Copper. Yeah. Copper. Yeah. So it's, it's a nice, rust, rust, it's a nice yeah. rustic color. Yeah. It's an abomination of the rattler. <laughs> Steel Brigade version D. Woo! Pass them over here. Nine zero eight eight. Are you? Oh! There you go. Oh! Winner! Woo! The new collector, yeah. too. <laughs> and it's a nice thing to have as a new collector. You guys want to throw it on the ground? Just go ahead and throw it on the ground and start on it. Nice. <laughs> So we stayed up till about 11.30 talking to Henry, our fellow collector, about G.I. Joe and how he got started collecting, his favorite figure and everything else. Uh, that was a lot of fun. And we slept through the night pretty good here. The hotel was not too bad despite uh, some wackiness but trying to get a room at the beginning. And uh, now we're ready to get some breakfast and head on home. Packing up the wares. Alright, we're at IHOP getting breakfast with the... Connecticut crew here. You guys aren't my usual marauders, eh? But we gotta go get those cobras. Get in your tanks and be ready for anything crazy that's going on about here. Let's go! Yo, Joe! Special thanks to everybody from the Trader PX group on Facebook that showed up at the meetup. Special thanks to all the guys that worked on organizing the event, promoting the event, anybody that hung out, anybody that bought anything from me, anybody that sold anything to me. I had a great time at the event. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out all my other super exciting, outrageous toy reviews.